It seems like BioWare's new game, Dragon Age Vile God, is having mixed review, mostly on the negative side, which basically means that it is a game not worth considering getting it, despite the triple A game label on it. So, on the other hand, if people do want to consider getting the game, it is actually best wait until when there's a discount or sales before consider getting it. Hello there, how's it there? I'm Mega Kita there. So obviously today in the chat we are gonna talk about Dragon Age and most of all I was like wondering like is this really a game that is considered worth getting it? I'm sure there will be a lot of people saying like hey at least this is a game that passed over 1000 players highest which is around I believe at the time was around 60-70 players at all time peak. The only issue about the game is right it seems like a lot of people have, who have actually played the game, although a lot of people seem to be having enjoyment at creating the character in some way, I mean like if making a joke of a character, then maybe people will be enjoying it. But when you kind of like want to have a good looking character, just don't think about it, don't even consider about it. But actually more so is that when you have a character that is a lot of people saying like it's a bit disappointment people don't like the game people consider the game is not worth getting in yeah i think i'll trust those people the critic more than the people who actually give it a better score actually even more so if people claim themselves to be like heavy fan or hardcore based player of the game itself i seen a lot of like review online but considering that most of the reviews are negative, like people saying like DI the joke, and there's even like late online about how much of a joke the game is, I do think that even if game journals trying to defend the game saying like, oh hey, the game is up to a good start because it got 70 round players playing the game at all time peak, which is a good number, isn't it? Um, not really. And I'll explain it later on. The thing is, right, when you have a game and including like game journalists coming out to defend the game, trying to call up those people uh, who is attacking the game at trail, people who is hating the game, who is uh, people who don't have a life along the line, it's actually more so that it's even more disturbing when the game they claim is a good triple A game, but when you have a lot of players, including like Moish Critical Charlie or even at Moscow. Z, who actually try out the game and the first thing they say is that the game is not bad but it's also not good either so it's kind of like understandable that it's a mixed game it's maybe some people may enjoy the game some people may don't like the game so when there is like a mixed review on the game more so you want to listen to the critic more than the positive one i mean like sure people will un like why do you go for a negative one when you should be going for the positive one the reason why is that sometimes when you look at the negative the, you have to understand what made the game not good if the game is able to conv like if the review is able to convince you on why you don't play the game then you don't even bother consider bothering at the positive review because the positive review is just basically a bootlicker um glazer or people who just say the game is good all you need to do is sometimes you have to listen to the negative side you have to look at both sides of the coin you don't just listen to the good side the bad side is all or the negative side is always tend to be the one that you have to be very careful of and if the negative one is just basically people throwing or people giving not a good point, then obviously you want to listen to the negative one more. But the thing is, right, it doesn't mean that the positive side is good either. I actually could like chat online about how much people are talking about it, about how tr people are trying to in indicate that like, is it worth playing it. But when the positive review is actually being called for, manipulation or basically people actually putting out return to form or basically using the same thing it's like it's weird like why would they like people using like every single good positive review is like return to form return to form return to form it's like can't you just say like it's a game that everyone would, would consider it would be the turning point for bioware it's the game that bioware have released with the right Inspiration along the line it's like there's so many words out there but i i guess the ceo of 
by the way, is basically the best friend of Vince McMahon of WWE because uh, they want what they say. They want people to use that word apparently. And it just seems weird. I mean, there is so many ways to just tell the world to put a fake possible, uh, possible review. But when the possible review is all basically the same thing, it's like kind of like copy paste, change a few words. Yeah, it's just basically telling the whole world that you just basically tell everyone to copy your homework and change the answer just a little bit to make sure that the word answer must be there. This is not a mess homework alright well, mess homework if you copy the whole same thing there is only one formula maybe sometimes two or three formula but there is basically one answer but when it comes to review everyone have their own way to write everyone have their way to say you just want the one damn word to be in the game you think everyone is stupid enough to think that there is, uh, the, the review is fake yeah, even like a young people, you just ask them like, do you, if you see so many things, return to form, return to form, return to form. Yeah, people will be start thinking that maybe next time if you see a, a reveal writing like return to form, yeah, basically that's a fake review at this point of time, right? So the thing is, right, when you have like the game being called for manipulating review, when you have game that is already have a lot of questionable game journalists giving it, uh, talking about it. Yeah, you kind of like want to listen to the negative side at this point of time, even you like it or not. But the one thing is, right, the game that also got uh, highly mocked for is also for the story. I assume that there will be some people saying, oh, the story is interesting, the story is nice. Well, I guess the um the so-called modern audience are being targeted correctly. But what made me even more f like not wish to get the game to be accepted is that when the game th trying to use real life logic into the game in a fantasy game. I mean it's it's weird, like why would you kind of like go with the idea that a character who can go around killing people, who can go around who uh, being the badass must apologize for mispronouncing someone gender and then the only way to like apologize is like bowing down or apologize or do something extreme but instead 10 push up hell even Revson did his like 11 push out in his own video like live in the he did right okay so when I was like looking at the video I was laughing for 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 thinking that why would you punish yourself for doing 10 push up and i'm sure they would say that they would highlight that there are some people who say like they only do like five six push up instead of 10 push up but the thing is right it's not about the push up it's how is she that she do 10 push out is like when she is can do like 50 100 must do 10 push out and she sounds very very tired after doing 10. like she's a strong character and yet you tell me that she can't even do 10 freaking push out i i guess that the person who write the story couldn't do 10 extra push out and that it must be very tiring to do 10 push out at this point of time so it's kind of like just show how out of touch the writer is when it comes to dragon age right uh the story itself the law itself and more so there is also even people saying that the veteran who wrote the story all of them are out only live with who people who is from sweet baby in or people who is just want to be called a hum a specific gender so when you kind of like considering about the launch is also not good it's really like earlier when i said like the launch is not good like even if they claim they got like a lot of players the thing is right when the game is overshadowed by another game which is just a beta testing at this one time like monster hunter well uh, one of my favorite game it's under like they release a so-called closed beta or open beta whatever you want to call it along it's just basically a testing phase it's just basically a game that is not released they want people to test it out to see if they, there's any bug is there is any issue with the, many players playing the game at the same time but the thing is right a lot there i'm sure like in rare some video the same video where he talked about uh, where he did the um push out like he actually mentioned Sure, there may be some people who say like you can't use a like other game as comparison. I'm sure that a lot of game journal will also say that it's not a good comparison. Let me tell you guys why I think it's a good a comparison. 
if a complete game like Dragon Age Valgard is having less player base than the incomplete game, it's just to show that no one is giving a damn care about a complete game more than an incomplete game. And both games, like Monster Hunter and Dragon Age, has millions of player base. But if the game that got released like Dragon Age is not reaching its potential target, if they really want to go with the high-end word, it's just to show that there is no one willing to pay 70, 80 bucks for a game that is totally going to turn people off. I talk in my own random chat four different life lessons. One of the damn thing is don't include the AI and another thing is have a good game. They can't even reach these two points and you expect people to play 70 for a game. Sure, they will say that oh, the quality look good, oh, the movement looks smooth. But when many play is not even entertained due to the story or due to the character design, yeah. You don't expect people to like when people look at the review, like I mentioned when people look at the negative review, people is gonna turn off. People who like it is gonna be way lesser. People would is the reason why it's not even like peeping a lot right now is that people are looking out. The first they tend to have like people playing the game and people who look at the first off is like if if they don't like the game, people won't pay for it. 70 bucks you want to earn from it, you have to let let people understand why they should pay 70 bucks for the game. But when the game is not even worth getting it, people ain't gonna buy it. And the thing is that apparently it seems like the failure launch of the game is getting into buyer where the company itself. More so is that someone actually called JT Sun over it. So it seems like a lot of people aren't like we, uh, we in the company is not happy about the so-called launch of the game, about how people are attacking the game. But when there's so many people that is up there saying that there's a high chance of game is going to fail one day, you, I wouldn't even be surprised if Bioware Sunny out will never drop dead at this point of time. Like more so is that the company is not launching to a high end. I mean like the only way for the company to actually make a earning is by reaching over six digit players right now it's only like five digit players so there is still a possibility that they might still build on because it's not the, it's the weekend maybe that we have to give you a wait and see but if they can't even break beyond that amount of player it's no longer a triple a game like triple a game like wukong is really like a game that break over two million players on the first two days if Dragon Val, like Dragon Age Val, if he can't even break six digit, this is a dangerous size for all game company. Please listen to the actual player base. But who knows? I mean, like they just want to live their life, do their own game, really like want to release to the so called targeted audience, which kind of like make you question like where are they now? But who knows? I mean, like this is just basically a lot of my speculative thought. Just a random chat. Um, I have to apologize for my voice because I'm actually not feeling that good on my throat. But other than that, if you have your own opinion, your own voice, your own thought, your own ideology, or whatever you want to write down, just write in the comment section below. We can discuss it further. If not, if you do like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat where I talk about stuff that sometimes makes sense, doesn't make sense, and all random at time. But the one thing is, I hope not random for you guys is have a nice day all night. Bye.